the state, who is also a chieftain of one of the faction of APC, Henry Idago, was allegedly attacked by some armed hoodlums at his office complex while handmade explosives were purportedly hauled at the residence of the APC vice chairman, Edu Central Senatorial District, High Chief Francis in Negbeneki. Chief Francis, conducting newsmen around part of his damaged residence, said he was utterly shocked at the attack and pleaded with the federal and state government to come to his rescue as his family members are still traumatized at the incident and called on those behind to desist as they are necessarily overheating the political environment. This is a state sponsor for people, someone to carry IED and throw it to another person's house. You will know that that person is connected. I'm appealing to the government, to the Nigerian police, to unravel this mystery. Who did this? You don't really need an FBI to know that somebody must have done this. It is a politically motivated attack. We are calling on the government to help us. My family just say in shock. I have a message for the person who came here to do this thing and his sponsor. That this drum of war that you people are beating, be ready to dance to the tune of that music when the lyrics are to come. Meanwhile, the House of Assembly candidates of the main opposition party in the state, People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2019 general election, architect Clifford in Negbedon, reportedly escaped as thugs invaded a meeting at Ward 3, Hessian West local government area last week when he was about to defect the ruling party, APC. On the other hand, the Edo State House of Assembly member representing Asian West constituency, Marcos Onobu, described the attack as barbaric and unnecessary. And chairs and um, saying that we cannot be receiving to the party because um, they are more than enough, they don't need more members. But at the end of the day, we were able to chase them away. We didn't want casualties on our hands, we didn't want death, we didn't want any, any blood to be spilled. So, we were able to chase them away, so they, they left. But at the end of the day, they were present there, and um, it was a disgrace because this is APC, APC. It's not even a um, PDP, but it's APC. So it was a shame. Totally condemned that act, and whoever that lost it, for whatever reason, whether it is to, you know, draw necessary attention, or whether the actual intention was to you know, attack whoever they wanted to attack. It is not known to my uh, principle of uh, politics. Politics should not be taken that far. It's a game, yes, we play it. If you can't win today, tomorrow you will win. We shouldn't now take it to the point of now using machets, um, um, wood, not to talk about explosives. I am very much ashamed that it's happening and the issues are revolving around my party, the APC. It has never happened before and I want to use this opportunity to call on those who are involved with whatever intention that they should please and please try as much as possible to take this dangerous um, act out of um, our politics. We'll return 